Hi guys and welcome to my channel Learn French at Zenith School of Foreign Languages. My name is Anamika and I am your French language instructor. Well guys in today's class we are going to work on French salutations and their pronunciation. Les salutations en français. Les salutations. Les salutations. We're going to work on the pronunciation in detail in this video. Let's start. So the first thing that we have to work on is the pronunciation of les salutations. Les salutations. The first word that I'm going to pick up is les. L-E-S. So guys, the pronunciation of L-E-S is going to be les. Les. Le. It's a pattern. Le. L-E-S is le. Now, if L-E-S is le, then what about N-E-S? Any guesses? Yes, you're absolutely right. N-E-S is going to be me. Me. So if L-E-S is le, then M-E-S is me. Then what about T-E-S? Te. Te. Se. Donc, it's a, it's a pattern. Le, me, te, se. I hope you will remember this pattern. Next, I'm going to pick up is the word salutation. Salutation. Now, let's, uh, let's understand the pronunciation here. The letter A in French is pronounced as A. You need to open your mouth. A. A. Sa. So together it's sa, sa. The pronunciation of the letter U is u, 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 u. So it's going to be salut, salut, salut. We have just done the pronunciation of the letter A and it is pronounced as a. Together it will be Saluta, 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 saluta. And the pronunciation of T I O N S is going to be salutation, salutation, T I O N S, sion, 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 sion. Together, les salutations, les salutations. Salutation. Les salutations. Now in les, S is going to be silent and in salutation, N and S, they are going to be silent. Les salutations. The French greetings. Les salutations. You can repeat after me. Les salutations. Les salutations. Les salutations. Very good. Let's move on to the first salutation that we have here is bonjour. I think everyone knows about this word. Bonjour. Bo. Bo. Bonjour. 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 Bonjour means hello or good morning in French. It can be used uh, at any time of the day, during any time, it can be used in the formal as well as in the informal situation. Bonjour, 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 bonjour. Now, in French, we usually do not uh, pronounce the last letter of the word. What I'm trying to say is, um, let's let's get back to this this last word which we just did les salutations as you can see the last consonant s is silent and n and s here they are silent right so basically we make the pronunciation till the last vowel any word pick up any french word and that word will be pronounced till the last vowel here i am doing the pronunciation till o salutation N and S silent. But if there is any word that ends with CLFR, any word that ends with CLFR, that needs to be pronounced. For example, in bonjour, 
it is ending with r so i am pronouncing the letter r as well it's bonjour 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 you can repeat after me bonjour 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 i think you got it very nice let's move on to the next salutation french salutation very simple so as you can see the last this last letter t is going to be absolutely silent and the pronunciation we've already done s a sa and l u lu salut 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 now this is this is in now uh this is a uh, and you know informal uh, way of addressing someone or saying someone hello it's like hi salut it's a very very casual way of uh, saying hello to somebody salut salut usually we can use this this salutation with our friends with our family members but never in in an um a formal in a formal setup never we do that so salut only for friends and for family members salut salut which means hi salut it can also be used as bye salut salut can be hi it can be bye as well salut salut so we've done three we've done three words so far we've done les salutations les salutations we've done bonjour bonjour we've done salut 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 amazing let's move on the next word is bon après midi bon après midi which means good afternoon let's understand the pronunciation here so as you can see the first word is pronounced as bon 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 very good bon amazing the next word is pronounced as après last letter s silent après 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 now this accent on the letter e let's understand this accent this accent in french is known as accent grave accent grave that's the name of the accent but the sound the pronunciation of this accent is like e e like in the word lesson in english le e that sound that is the sound that you need to get e après 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 et et is the sound après 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 perfect so it is bon après bon après wonderful now the last word is m i d i midi midi now in french the sound of the letter i is e e e e so it's going to be midi 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 bon après midi bon après midi bon après midi now there is this problem here bon après i'm having a pause in between and putting a lot of pressure in between bon après mm -hmm. it is not sounding good now when you have this interruption that is when you have any word that starts with a vowel that word will connects it will connect that word will connect the last words last letter so what i'm trying to say is a will make a liaison it will align with the last words letter last letter that is n and it is going to be bon après bon après bon après bon après bon après midi 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 you can repeat after me 
Bon après-midi. Bon après-midi. Bon après-midi. Good afternoon. Bon après-midi. Now, this linking of the two letters is liaison. We call it liaison. You're linking the two words together. Liaison. Bon après-midi. Why do we have to do this? To have a fluency when we speak, to be fluent, to speak fluently uh, any word. Now, why do we do it? We do it to have a fluent uh, pronunciation of the words. Bon après-midi. It goes in one go. Bon après-midi. But if I put a pause in between, bon après-midi, I'm putting a lot of pressure on it. Bon après-midi. I want more, I want fluency. So I'm going to say bon après-midi, bon après-midi. I hope it is clear. Bon après-midi. Wonderful. Let's move on to the next word that is bonsoir. 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 It's a beautiful word. Bonsoir, which means good evening. Bonsoir. N is going to be silent, guys. Bonsoir. 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 Okay. One pattern I'm going to teach you. The sound of S O I is sua. Sua. What about the sound of T O I? Any guesses? If S O I is sua, then T O I becomes tua. Tua. Similarly, L O I will become lua. 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 Similarly, M O I will be, yes, you're absolutely right, moi. Donc, soi, moi, loi, toi. So this is a pattern. Bonsoir. And you have to pronounce the last letter R because bonsoir is ending with CLFR, which needs to be pronounced. Bonsoir. 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 So let's quickly revise all these words that we've just done. We've done les salutations. We've done bonjour, we've done salut, bon après-midi, bonsoir. Okay, great. We've done five words. Let's move on to the next one. And the next one is bonne nuit, bonne nuit, bonne nuit, nuit, e. T is going to be silent, guys. Bonne nuit, which means good night. Bonne nuit. Bonne nuit. Bonne nuit. Bonne nuit. I think this was very easy. Bonne nuit. Great. Let's move on to the next salutation. Now, the next one is bonne journée. Understand. Bonne journée. Bonne journée. Bon journée. Bon journée, which means have a nice day or have a good day. Bon journée. Now we use this word when we take a leave. Okay, when we are leaving somebody, we would say bon journée. Have a nice day. Understand the pronunciation of this accent on E. This accent is accent aigu. Accent aigu. Accent aigu. Accent aigu. And the sound of this, this accent is like an it's, it's like the English alphabet A. 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 Bon journée. Bon journée. A. A is the sound. A. Bon journée. Bon journée. Bon journée. Bon journée. Bon journée. Bon journée. Have a nice day. Bon journée. Super. Let's move on to the next word that is all right. It says bye bye and we pronounce it au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Understand the pronunciation. The sound of AU is like O in English. O. 
O, O, the letter O. That's how we pronounce it. O. The sound of the letter E in French is a, a. So together with R, it becomes R, R, R. O, H, O, H, O, H. We just did the pattern of V, O, I in the previous word. That was bonsoir, soa. So V, O, I is going to be voa. O, H, voa. O, H, voa. R will be pronounced because C, L, F, R will be pronounced always. O, H, voa. O, H, voa. O, H, voa. Now, this is how we write and sometimes we say this also. But in France, especially the French people, they like to cut this word short. So how do they do the pronunciation? They simply say, oh, va, oh, va. They remove R-E in pronunciation, not in the written form. Oh, va. This is how they pronounce. Oh, va, oh, va, oh, va, oh, va, oh, va. But we write properly. We write, oh, he, va. Oh, va, oh, va, oh, va. Like that, oh, va. Let's do a quick revision. All right. Starting from the very first thing that we did, that is les salutations. Bonjour. Salut. Bon après-midi. Bonsoir. Bonne nuit. Bonne journée. Au revoir. Au revoir. Next is a bientôt. A bientôt, which means see you soon. A bientôt. A bientôt. A bientôt. The sound of the letter A is always going to be a. A. The sound of the letter I, I told you, is E. So it's bien. Bien. A bientôt. O. A bientôt. A bientôt, the last T is going to be silent. A bientôt, a bientôt, a bientôt, see you soon. Au revoir, a bientôt, au revoir, a bientôt. You can say it together. Au revoir, a bientôt, bye bye, see you soon. Au revoir, a bientôt, a bientôt, a bientôt, a bientôt, a bientôt. All right, let's move on to the next salutation. And that is, see you tomorrow. If you're meeting the person the next day, tomorrow, you would say, a dema, a dema, a de, d e. The sound of the letter e is a, a. So it's going to be de, de, de. A dema, a dema, a dema, a dema, a dema. See you tomorrow. A demain. Au revoir. A demain. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Au revoir. A demain. Demain. A demain. A demain. Wonderful. Great. Next salutation is nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Let's understand the pronunciation of this word. We say enchanté. 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 The sound of the letters E-N is en. En. It's a nasal sound. En. 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 The sound of the letter letters C-H is sh. 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 Enchanté. 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 We've already done the sound of the letter E and accent aigu, and that is, it is pronounced as A. Enchanté, 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 which means nice to meet you, enchanté. 
Now, if it is a if it's a it's a boy who says nice to meet you, he would say enchanté. This much enchanté. But if it's a girl who says nice to meet you, she will add this extra e here. She will add one e uh, with enchanté. However, the pronunciation in both the cases um, is going to be the same. The pronunciation will be the same in both the cases. Enchanté, 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 enchanté. Nice to meet you, enchanté. Nice to meet you, enchanté. All right. The next salutation, the next word, not the salutation, but the word is merci. Merci. The most used word. We should be using this word very often, in fact. Merci. Merci, 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 it's merci, okay, you can repeat after me, merci, merci, which means thank you, merci, 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 wonderful, merci, the next word, okay, so if you are very, very grateful to somebody. You want to thank the person a lot. You would say, merci beaucoup. Where P is going to be silent. Merci beaucoup. 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 Now this means thank you so much or thanks a lot. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Bravo. Super. Excellent. Now, guys, the next thing that we're going to work on, oh, yes. Now, if somebody says, thank you, merci, how are you going to reply? You, we, in English, we, use, we usually say, you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. So, in French, we're going to say, je, 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 je. It's like the word pleasure, that je, pleasure, je, je, that je we want here, je, je, okay, je, very good, je, je vous, vous, je vous, 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 je vous, vous, great, je vous, je vous, je vous. En, 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 like we did the word enchanté, en, 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 prix, prix, prix. The sound of the letter I is, is E, so it's going to be prix, prix. Je vous en prie. Again, there is a problem because here en starts with a vowel. It will connect with the last word's last letter, that is S, and the pronunciation. Please pay attention. Je vous en prie. 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 Single S gives the sound Z. Je vous en prie. 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 Okay. Wonderful. Moving on to the next one. Oh, yes. So, guys, je vous en prie is the formal way of saying someone, you're welcome. Formal. When I say formal, I mean the formal situations. For example, uh, if you're talking to your teachers, if you are in a in an office, in you know, in such places, you're going to use this language. Je vous en prie. Merci. Je vous en prie. Merci beaucoup. Je vous en prie. Like that. All right. Let's find out the informal way. Informal way is very very simple. You just have to say je Ton, 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 I N en, ton, ton, je t'en prie, 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 
Je t'en prie. Je t'en prie. OK. Great. Je t'en prie. The next word is please. How do we say please in French? We will first learn the formal way of saying someone please. And we pronounce it as s'il vous plaît. 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 Here, S is going to be silent and T is going to be silent. S'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît. It's like, please. S'il vous plaît. Formal. This is a formal expression. S'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît, which means please. Let's find out the informal way of saying someone please. That is, s'il te plaît. 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 Perfect. Let's move on to the next word. Oh. All right, so this word is sorry, and how do we pronounce it? We say désolé, 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 désolé. We've already done the accent, accent aigu, and the pronunciation is a. Dé, désolé, désolé, z. The sound of single s is z. Désolé. Désolé, 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 désolé. Now this extra E, any guesses? Yes, you got it right. You will put an extra E if a, a girl says sorry, désolé. But if it's a boy who says sorry, he will not put that E which I've kept in the bracket. So désolé for a man. Désolé for a woman. The person, for example, if I say sorry to anyone, I will add this E here. And pronunciation is going to be désolé. Both the cases, the pronunciation is the same. Désolé, désolé, désolé. Okay, moving on to the next word that is pardon, pardon. In English, we say pardon. And in French, we say pardon. Pardon, pardon, pardon. Now, pardon is something, uh, you know, which you can use in a class if you, for example, if you do not, do not hear what your teacher is, you know, asking you to do or telling you to do, you will, you want your teacher to repeat something, you can say pardon, 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 okay, pardon. The next is excuse me, which means ex, which is excusez-moi, 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 excusez-moi. Now, EZ means it is the informal expression. Excusez-moi. The sound of EZ is like accent aigu, sound of accent aigu, A. A, excusez, excusez-moi, moi, we've already done, moi, like soir, soir, S-O-I, soir, au revoir, voir, okay, that sound, that pattern. So, excusez-moi, excuse me, excusez-moi. Now, this is the formal way of saying excuse me. Informal, let's find out the informal way as well. Excuse-moi. Excuse-moi, 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 excuse. We will stop at z. Excuse-moi, excuse-moi, excuse-moi. This is the informal way of saying someone. Excuse me. Excuse-moi, excuse-moi, excuse-moi. Très bien. So we've done all the salutations. And now we can have a quick revision. You are going to repeat after me. 
Allez-y. Let's start. Les salutations. Les salutations. Bonjour. Bonjour. Salut. Salut. Bon après-midi. Bon après-midi. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Bonne nuit. Bonne nuit. Bonne journée. Bonne journée. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. À bientôt. À bientôt. À demain. À demain. Enchanté. Enchanté. Merci. Merci. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Je vous en prie. Je vous en prie. Je t'en prie. Je t'en prie. S'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît. S'il te plaît. S'il te plaît. Désolé. Désolé. Pardon. Pardon. Excusez-moi. Excusez-moi. Excuse-moi. Excuse-moi. Excellent. So guys, if you have still not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe, hit the like button and do share this video with your friends. Till the time, au revoir.